One of the most famous lines spoken by Sherlock Holmes is in the story of Silver Blaze, a valuable racehorse that is stolen. As Holmes investigates the crime, a Scotland Yard detective asks him, Is there any other point to which you would wish to draw my attention? Holmes replies, To the curious incident of the dog in the nighttime. But the dog did nothing in the nighttime, the detective says. That was the curious incident, is Holmes' response. The dog was in the stable when the horse was stolen and didn't bark which led Holmes to conclude that the midnight thief was someone the dog knew well. The reason I recall this now is because of a letter to the editor in the Quarterly Journal of Medicine with the title, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Bathtub. This was a follow-up to an earlier paper by the same group that had the title, Musical Instruments, Fungal Spores, and Hypersensitivity Pneumonitis. In that paper, they described the unfortunate case of a man who had a one-year history of gradual onset of breathlessness and non-productive cough. When the physicians learned that he was a musician who played the tenor horn, they suspected inhalation of some sort of small particulate matter, a phenomenon that had been documented before with contaminants in wind instruments. They proceeded to swap various parts of the man's tenor horn and discovered contamination with a fungus, purpurocilium lilacinum, that had not previously been associated with musical instruments. The patient was treated with a steroid, methoprednisolone, and improved. The horn could not be properly disinfected with a commercial cleaning agent, and he was advised to purchase a new instrument, which he did. Six months later, he was back with the same complaint. The new horn was swabbed and found to contain the same fungus, despite the patient claiming that he washed the instrument carefully every Sunday in the bathtub. That raised the doctor's suspicion, and he actually made a house call to see if the contaminant may be lurking in the water. When he learned that Sunday was also the day the family dog got a bath in the same tub, he thought he had been given the key to the solution of the mystery. Since the fungus detected in the horn is commonly found in soil, the doctor surmised that the dog's paws were the likely source of the fungal spores that had caused the musician's affliction. The man was advised to make a change in the horn's cleaning routine, and ever since, he has been happily tooting his score. The authors of the letter to the editor cleverly suggested that this particular fungus is not a naturally occurring member of the musical microbiome. In this strange case, the clue to the solution of the mystery was indeed traced to the curious incident of the dog in the bathtub. And that for today is our Cup of Joe.